What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is Third Person Podcast. That's Mike. I'm Chris. We're back into Westworld, Season 2, Episode 6, Phase Space. Good stuff, yes. Mike. Man, I'm going to tell you, man, I'm loving where this story's going, dude. I'm, I'm loving it. it, too. This was, a, this was one of my favorite episodes. It just They just keep getting better and better, man. And not even, like, the biggest things. Some people might say, like, oh, the Shogun stuff, the fighting stuff, but just, um, just the conversation with Gracie and... The Man in Black. Was, oh, that was good. I stuff, just thought man. that was awesome. I well, it's thought- it's stuff that we haven't seen. Like they're really just giving. They're just. I feel like they're really giving us a lot of stuff because like the next season is gonna be balls out. Like it's gonna be yeah. different. It's gonna. They're gonna wrap up this stuff. I think this season. Mm-hmm. And since episode four ended, when we first saw them see each other on the horses. Yep. You know, I'm just. Oh, I can't wait till they get into it. And that it was, was good. It was just, and it was so it was worth sweet. it. We saw she's a crack shot. We saw she's yes. she's smart and she's aware. She's like, oh, that they they stop at this wagon. They're gonna loot this mm-hmm. wagon. She's like, those aren't so and so's arrows. Yeah. And then the two guys come out and she takes them out. And, the, and her dad's like, oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> but like nothing, man. Like she even basically says, like you know, like daughter, like you know, like daughter, like father. You know, like yeah. She took some of my traits, and that was what was so good. It's she kind of there's a part of her. Obviously, their relationship is tenuous. There's nothing really great going on with that she mentions how it's been a while since she's been been back and she even speaks of loving the raj park when she was a kid and coming back and trying the trying the pleasure parts now yeah 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 and he's he that was funny because you kind of see the look on his face like i don't want to hear my daughter but yeah like you said with there's a part of the man in black that really wanted to take um, what Gracie said to heart and leave with her. And this, and there's so much well, about says, what she, she says. She says, let's start over. That's why. Yeah. Let's kind of like start over. I don't blame you for, for mom right, dying I don't blame you for her death. Yeah. And I think those are probably some words that he probably wished he heard for the longest time. And it seemed like it really compelled him. And it seemed like he, he definitely considered. Right. Considered yeah. It. Good point. I, That's dude, a good word. He considered it. I believed for a moment that, like I'm always with that like soft stuff. Like I would have yeah, loved yeah, to see yeah. them hug each other and leave the park, but obviously that's not that's not the nah, case. Man. So it was a bit disappointing, even though. I but you knew it was going to happen. Like you knew exactly. he was going to betray her, and he, you know but he was, was lying. Uh, and it just yeah. it does suck. He listen. He wants to die there, man. He wants to finish yeah. the game and die. She says, there. "I don't want to let you die in this blaze of glory," uh-huh. but that's exactly what he. That's, he's, he's like, I hate to break it to you, sweetheart, but that's what's happening. Maybe so. she'll maybe she'll take that part. Maybe she'll end up dying. Listen, because that because she doesn't. That's not over. She'll find them. She mm-hmm. found them once. She'll find them again. Yeah, she but ba- that's why I'm glad. I, you know, I wanted to start with that, even though that was kind of in the middle of the episode, because it's it just good, was man. one of my because it was good stuff. It was uh, yeah. every. I'm telling you, every little section of this show is great. Yeah. Um, I just want to mention Teddy, man, that man's taking charge. So that's what she did. She's, she's made him into the monster that she needs him to be. He, she, she might, she might, she might have bit off a little bit more than she can chew too. So right. We'll you're right. You're I, 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 agree I, with I can see, I can see a conflict with them happening. So you think on the, he's on the other side now, now he's going to be the one to be like, you know what? I think I'm going to do well, this. He, he took charge. He shot the guy at the train. Um, so whereas Without he didn't want to follow order. her down this one path, he's going to go yeah. a different path and be like, I still don't think you're right. I'm going to do it my way, this way. Well, But we now it's going to be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, we talked about this before we started today. And I had said, I wrote down, Teddy speaks of himself by saying he was weak and he was born to fail right, and you right, fixed right, him. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we were, we're just kind of Because he's pissed, talking. man. Because he's pissed off, man. But the question is, he had to have known his past. He yes. had to have known who yes. the Teddy of yes. old was and that's very interesting in itself because you had said so do you think that he remember does he yeah, remember because, so, so, so does he have that memory of that uh, he asked yeah but he does right? because that means he couldn't change he he yeah. couldn't he knew he he knew he had to be a certain thing and that was his problem and that's why dolores mm-hmm. gave the him the ability to be like you know what let go of that old that old daddy yeah. He's done. Watch out. Watch out, Dolores. You know, exactly. So anyway, <laughs> good out. stuff. Yeah, he's a he's a bastard yeah. now. Um, that's fun. I want to run over to uh, I want to go back to Shogun World. I want to yeah. talk about Musashi and yes. the the Hector of Shogun World. Uh, Tanaka. That, that man is a badass. Yeah, he, right? was, he was really calling him. He was really talking shit. You know, saying, "Oh, you hide behind this, and you always kind of avoid." He's like, "You always wanted to fight me." He's like, "Come at me, bro! Come at me, bro!" And then 
And he's Dude. like, well, you have the witch by your side, real tough talk, you know, talk and all this kind of stuff. He's but like, come on, I'll show you. I'll show you. Dude, Dude I could I could watch sick. that shit all day. I love yeah. that. And it's so yeah. and it's done so well here. Mm -hmm. Man, mm -hmm. it's so good. It was. It was brutal. It was a so, brutal fight. I mean, just the stealing of the short sword from yeah. uh, Tanaka yeah. and take, taking off his his arm and uh dude, it was it was uh it was um it was a great great fight. It was so good. brutal. Yeah, it so was you brutal. have there's one thing I do want to mention about that scene right before right before she says, um, Akane says to Maeve, are you going to help him? And mm -hmm. she says, no, I, you know, I believe everyone should have their own choice. And Akane repeats that to Maeve at the end yeah, when of she that section. Wanna... When, so they make it to Sakura's ho um, home and, you know, she previous, you know, she cuts out Sakura's heart in the beginning and she, she you know, she's bringing it to her back to her home. And she burns it in in the in that little shrine, and she's like, "Well, you're gonna come now, you know." And and she and she's like, "No." She's like, "Some people have to make their own choice." And she's like, yeah. "Ah, touche, touche." So, yeah. so so basically, um, uh, Akane and Musashi stay, and they're gonna make their own way now there, and they're gonna just hang out, I guess, until and see what happens. You yeah. know, take on whoever. Well, they care about each know? other, right? So that's yeah. the thing. So they're together. Such a beautiful, like, oh, it's so beautiful dude. layout and everything, it's right? Beautiful. With the waterfall. And, I love it. I oh love my god, shit! They really put in their work when they made these. I love uh, it. Yep. These, um, you know, geographical sites and these, yeah. and you know, in real life too, man. They they set that up good. Uh, yeah, badass, badass. So we the rest of them all go. They make it back to Westworld. And mm -hmm. Maeve ends up finding her daughter, but well, it's not it's not what she thinks. I was heartbroken, man. I was, was so heartbroken when she it rolls was. up and she's like, Oh, there she is, and then all of a sudden a woman looks almost exactly like her. I was like, yeah. Oh man. The same the same narrative. She knew exactly she knew the landscape. She tells Hector, Let me just go. I know and the way she's feeling like the mm -hmm. grass as she's walking through, it's like it's a homecoming. And I was telling you it was it was um, questionable at first when we saw Clementine on the porch. If that was like a like a reverie, like an old memory, right. or if that was uh, you know happening, you know right right in, in real time there. But yeah. obviously it, it was. But th with that same narrative playing out, and um, it was it was it was it was sad. I'm it sad. was sad, and it was a realization that I'm I'm a little. Um, it's weird because you would think that Maeve would, she's so open and she's so like, she would be, she would, she would accept the fact that, that she's, that she, she's in that other narrative still. The daughter yeah. is in that other narrative, even though, but you know what yeah. though? Not for nothing, but she can wake her up. She can wake that's her true. up. That's yeah, not that's the, true. we're not there yet because what happens is the native Americans, the tribe comes and they, that was sick. I never thought I'd see that. And that was sick. And they show up. And then you have Felix and the other guys hanging out decide, mm -hmm. oh, no, let's go help them. Let's go help them. Hector, they all run down the hill and they all. And Sizemore is the snake that wants to call and get him, get some help. And yeah, because yeah, I there. forgot he had that phone. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. that's right. He snaked that phone away from the from the dead guy. Now, in the original, Maeve and the daughter died, right? Because yes. yes. they went, they ran into the house. Right. So, so Maeve takes the, off and yeah. So Maeve now, here's takes the thing. off with Clementine. She, and... So she can speak their language. Why didn't she stop them? Didn't she stop him? And and, and what did what did he say? He she spoke to him and he leaves. Right? Or no, they got attacked. That was it. They got attacked. Yeah, they just Hector yeah. started attacking and stuff. Dude, you know what's cool? Just like off side topic. One of the coolest mm. things that anything that's that you could shoot or film or just seeing is like when someone say like Hector especially like Hector with his with his rifle just yeah. shooting and cocking with it up on his shoulder as he's walking like ba boom ba boom ba boom but just walking in a straight line towards the, like that's so sick i love that business, there's got to be there's got to be some of Red intense Dead training man. I used to do that yeah, yeah. that man there's got to be um, some intense training with all these weapons stuff it's got to be a dude, blast to be on dude, the set for that show so good it was so good so yeah so that's where we're at so let's see what happens with Maeve i mean they're going to yeah you know she's i think i think my my little theory is that she's going to wake her up so I could, uh, yeah, know? I guess we'll see. Let's that's, that's going to be a good question because let's see how her conscious plays. Let's see if she feels maybe guilty if she wakes her up, you know, and, and maybe build another bond with this, with right. Clementine, not necessarily as her mother in a previous narrative, but yeah. maybe as, uh, now, Wait, her daughter's name is Clementine. I believe that's what, Oh no, not Clementine. I'm, 
Oh, okay. So th- uh, you said Clementine before, and I was like, wait a minute. Clementine is the is the, the, the other, other girl. I, yeah. I'm, 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 maybe I'm thinking like Walking Dead. I'm mis- mixing the. Oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe, yeah. The the, the, the Telltale sorry, series. Screw it. Her name is Clementine, but yeah. that's my bad. But uh, yeah, maybe there's something. Um, M- there'll there'll be something deeper. Maybe? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out later. But yeah, yeah so we'll we'll see what happens with that. Um, yeah. I wanna I wanna I wanna talk about McLaughlin. McLaughlin, mm-hmm. McLaughlin. That guy was awesome. When Stubbs meets him in the, in this, and they they parachute down. Yeah. And it's funny because you have the team, the Delos team comes in, and they're like, "All right, everyone, get out of the way. We're taking over." And now these guys come in, they're like, "All right, everybody, out of the way. We're taking over." So oh, it's yeah. like you have one level on top of the other one. And Stubbs is just sitting here going um hello I'm, i just lived through this thing yeah. and maybe you know yeah so i thought dude it it, 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 it was, that guy's pretty funny man nothing nothing funnier you know or more badass than a scottish dude giving orders man i'm telling you Tuh. so you know they come in and hail obviously you know right before that they get abernathy and they they nail him down to the chair yeah that's fucking that was brutal a little, a little brutal there's just yeah. you know what it, it's so sudden it's so sudden when you see the brutality because they they're they, they're humans to us they 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 look like humans to us and then all of a yeah. sudden you're doing something like that and you're like oh damn okay yeah all right you, i think you it was Stubbs that him. was like yeah he was like oh stop oh yeah i don't know yeah. i don't i don't i don't know i don't have a gauge on Stubbs. i think gauge i think he wants to help but i don't think he wants to leave i think he's kind of done i think i think maybe he's done with the fact of what they're doing and and maybe he just you know what i mean like mm-hmm. he's always been mm-hmm. weary of all of it you know, so I don't know. Yeah. I think I think he's gonna, he might he might he might jump and he might jump ship and and get to the other side. I don't know. He might. He's he might one of those. The other side. Yeah, he's one I of those that yet. he might be there in the right situation and for for uh, the other side. Yeah, saves the day, kind of a thing. Yeah, but um, so maybe he'll so, let maybe he'll let Abernathy free or something. Oh, maybe I don't know. You know, because that's what they're there for. So they're gonna get him and. I mean, not much else to really say about that. They're there. They, yeah. they're, they're 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 about to grab them. They got the map back online, and um, you know, they look and they see that train. They see yeah. Teddy, Teddy and Dolores coming. So, no, yep. I mean, they don't know who's on it, but they know that it's it's not it's not the good guy or it's not their team. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. so let's. I got we got to talk about Bernard, man, and Elsie. Super super cool. Um. All right, so Super so cool. uh, guys, maybe you guys can can help us out here. Mike and I were, were talking off camera, and the little the little brain, the little ball, okay, those things. I think what happens is those things sit inside that white that white container, right? That's, yeah. That goes inside the head. So when they open up the head, they pull out that that canister or that little uh, whatever sleeve, whatever it is, and they put that on the tablet, right? But I think the, that little ball is inside that. Yeah, and that thing just acts as like the USB port that they put it in, you know. So I I think that's what it is. If if you guys if you guys agree with me or disagree, let us know because that's what we think the brain is. So anyway, the point is, they need to access. I'm sorry, they find out about the cradle. They find out that there's rogue code inside the the system. And Mike and I are you know I know you thought the same thing. I was like, oh, that's that's Ford. That's what that's what's been driving. Uh, he's been speaking with yeah right because he's obviously he's in the system but how did he do it is his is it his consciousness probably right they find out so oh it's so it's at the cradle i'm like well where you know where where, okay so where's the cradle and they're like i thought it was going to be a whole big thing to get to the cradle like another quest no it was in it's in the it's in the right away yeah so yeah so they get in there and 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 they can't get in obviously they can't she can't hack in so he's like put me in coach you know, put me in. I'll, I'll go over there, you know? So what happens... So that thing... So I guess that thing just takes his brain out and puts it in the system, right? And then and it cuts... You, yeah. Dude, it cuts to that cinema style, which I thought was great. They were, they were like, how are we going to make this look different? And it was like, mm-hmm. oh, okay. We'll make it just sit nice and cinema style. Because I was like, that's fucking cool. I actually went back. I wrote, I rewound it, and I'm like, wait, what? Did it just throw some bars up there? Oh, shit, it did, you know? And I'm like, oh, all right. Okay, okay, okay. No, it's cool. Yeah, it was that it was that beginning narrative really where we saw right, from right, the right, beginning yeah. with um with uh, Teddy and Dolores with the can the can of peas or whatever the hell it was and Bernard yeah. even sees that and and um it was just you knew it was coming. Yeah. You know, that 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 dog 
and seeing that dog and and for for Bernard to kind of follow him, you just, just well, he's knew. seen it from a, he's seen it from inside from the inside. Yeah, he's seen that narrative yeah. what hundreds thousands of times, whatever. Yeah. And now he's like, wait a minute, where the hell am I? What is this happening, right? Mm-hmm. And you know, when he walks into the to the bar, and lo and behold, there he is, I'm playing the old piano there, Mister Ford, saying, hello, Robert old Ford. friend, and yep. So yeah, so it was just a, it was it was a crazy way. A crazy perspective, crazy way that we were able to see, because um, Elsie isn't seeing any of this, right? Well, that's the you thing; know? it's, it's, it's all vi- well to them. That's what it is—the code inside there. Yeah. It's all visual. It's same thing with us, man. That's what happens to us. It's not what we see in our heads, our dreams, and all that shit. It's all just electrical mm-hmm. impulses. So, what's the difference? Yeah. What's the di- our our programming may not be literally ones and zeros, but it's all electrical impulses, and that's what ones and zeros are. So. The yeah. correlation is makes perfect sense. It's you know he was dreaming. He was put into the dream, and and I don't know. It was sick. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's really um really cool to see the conversation now with them. Yep. With Ford is. and 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 Bernard there because um yeah you know we 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 speculated we 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 heard um Ford talking with. William through other hosts through throughout the, hosts, the park right, yeah. over this. So now we're, we're actually seeing him um, not in the physical world, but through this cradle through yeah, this. So we know we just listen, system, this computer it's going to be, thing. it's going to be fun. And you know, yeah. we're going to find it out very soon. It's going to be fun to find out how it happened, but listen, yeah. um, let's get into here. Mikey, Mikey's video is getting a little, a little wacky. So probably, no. probably best. We just kind of we'll <laughs> call this an episode. Um, definitely looking forward to the next episode. It looks like everybody's going to, um, conflagate all inside the the vet visitor center. Dolores is going to get there. They're all in there already. Um, you know, and it's going to be a, it's going to be a bloody a bloodbath. I think it's going to be fun. So uh, that is going to do it for this episode for episode six for Westworld. Uh, Mikey, where can sure. they reach us? You can reach us at Third Person Pod, of course. Write those comments below. We'd love hearing from you guys. Uh, also check us out at Third Person Pod on Facebook and on Instagram. And don't forget to have a listen to us. Check us out on iTunes as well. Yep, and uh, I mentioned this last episode, but go check out, if you haven't watched Into the Badlands on AMC, go watch it. We do videos on this channel for that show as well. Um, These are both great, great shows, so share them, enjoy them, talk to us about them, and yeah, it's great. But for Westworld, that's going to do it. We'll see you on the next episode uh, when we get into that bloodbath. So we'll see you then. Peace.